Hey, what's up, cream corn virgin gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today on things, I got from Japan. This little guy right here, this little Gengar figure. I thought this was super cool. Not really the biggest Gengar fan. I don't hate him or anything. Just he's not my favorite Pokemon or anything. Thought it was a cool figure. I'll be showing a little bit more of that stuff. Heads up, this is a video where I'm just kind of talking and going off about like Japanese cards. There's been people that have been asking me a lot of different stuff about them lately. And it's just kind of got me in a mood. Just kind of want to talk about it. nothing really of major concern or interest here. Not talking about anybody in particular. I assure you this is not about one particular person. I assure you that anything I'm saying is not directed to you. But fuck it. I want to talk about them. I'm a collector. Whatever. I'm just going to go into it. So Japanese cards have been fucking weird. Over the last years. I don't care what anybody says. I don't give a shit what anybody tells you. As somebody who has been collecting pretty extensively since 2017-18 Japanese Pokemon cards, this shit has gotten nuts. And what I mean specifically is just the overall interest in them. So, I started social media 2018-2019 whenever I made my Instagram account. My very first post was this card right here, right? It's a Charizard, Reshram, Reshram, Charizard from Double Blaze. Just a standard art. I did okay. Some people were kind of interested in it, but I also posted English cards for a good little bit on there too. You can go through and see them. It's Opossum Buds, the exact same shit. If you want to go check out my Instagram, post cute pictures of cards, all that shit. I started posting English cards, generally got a much better response. People were a little bit more like, oh yeah, these are cool. And it was something that people kept up with. I think it was because a lot of people knew about English cards and it was just very familiar. They could read it. They could understand it. They could see that stuff. I'd post Japanese cards on there too, quite a bit, because it was something I was interested in collecting. It's something I've always been interested in collecting. I have lots of different Japanese cards from different eras. It's something I just like. The thing about Japanese cards and why I collected them is because they were kind of cheaper. I was a little bit of a poor guy at the time. I didn't really have a fuck ton of money, and I wanted to get cards still, so Japanese was a pretty good option. While I will say it wasn't super easy to always get them in the States, generally speaking, the cards were not as expensive, with a couple exceptions. There was, of course, some expensive cards, but... Your average everyday EX pull, you know, your EXs all the way back to like primes and shit like that. Generally speaking, it was a good bit cheaper back in the day. Now, flash forward, and Japanese cards are a fucking premium. I mean, if you watch J-Love's channel over here, just stuff's like crazy, man. Like, I watched this whole video he did talking about full art trainers and just cards that were like that. That price tag he has up there is not a fucking point either. That's not like actual clickbait. That's actually what someone is willing to pay for that card if you have it and all the circumstances line, all the stars line up. Fucking titans come out of the earth and all that shit, right? That's just something that could happen. And it's something that wasn't always the case. Japanese cards are now a premium luxury. They cost a lot. I'm sure you've seen the alt arts. I don't need to fucking explain this to y'all. You know how much some of the full art trainers go for? Those are legitimate prices. I have seen some people kind of try, they come at it and they're like, that's not sustainable. That's not the way that shit's going to roll. Oh, but vintage is sustainable. Fucking six figure cards. That's fucking sustainable. Oh, but they're super limited. There's some super limited Japanese cards too, bro. Why don't you get your head out of your ass and fucking look at the actual limits on that stuff as well? Oh, it's all good, man. I don't need to teach people about stuff they've apparently been collecting their whole life, right? I'll get into that a little bit later. Anyway. It's just, people are going super hard on Japanese cards right now. There, there's so many good alts that are coming out. There's so many good arts. And people are going super hard in V-Star Universe. Kind of the main reason I want to talk about it. I've seen a lot of people lately hopping into the community. And you and that's a good thing, right? Not always, though. We have some people. And it's on whatnot, mostly. Just fucking stumbling, half-assing their way through Pokemon knowledge. And it's always the same bullshit. I'm a long-time Pokemon fan. I love big Pokemon fans. They fucking open packs. Bro, clueless. They have no fucking idea what any of these Pokemon or any of these packs are. They just, they know what the big hits are. They did a lot to actually make sure they can find that. They have looked up very specific things. Fuck you if you pull something different or if it's something like the Hatterene. Bro, nobody even knows what that fucking card is. And that's my chase card. That's one of the cards I want is the Hatterene VMAX. I'm so happy she got a Gigantamax card because that's one of my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. And just, just the people that have no fucking clue what that card is. And they're longtime Pokemon fans. They apparently played the games. Oh, yeah, Sword and Shield was super cool. Oh, <laughs> just didn't use any of them on my team. And I mean, sure, whatever. People are going to call this like some form of like gatekeeping. People are going to know. It's not that. Just we have people masquerading as fans in our goddamn hot hobby that are only here for money that'll leave the second money suit when money's not here half these people are gone like straight up half these motherfuckers are just gonna ghost out here thanos is gonna snap his finger and they're all gonna go right up his asshole i swear to god they will the second money is gone from this watch 
they'll fucking scatter. They're going to go to some other dumb TCG. They'll move over to Yu-Gi-Oh! And the Yu-Gi-Oh! fans are probably going to fucking hate that. Yeah, you're going to get some quality people over there if that ever happens. Got some real grade A people running over there wanting to hype your shit up for more money than it's already worth. And for illegitimate stuff, basically make a, a whole muck of the place, cause scams, do all this dumb shit, basically act like they're fucking celebrities because they collect Pokemon cards. Yeah, does that sound like something that's a lot of fun? But that's what's happened with cards. And Japanese is now the newest thing that people are kind of hopping on the train on. I don't have any problem with people who genuinely like the cards. I will point anybody who genuinely likes these in the right direction. Some of them are a little bit unobtainable right now. I don't think it's always going to be the case. But the ride for it, man, just got nuts. And I just don't really know what else to say about it because, like, some cards shouldn't be worth as much as they are. There's some cards that are in Japan right now, some Japanese newer market cards this year. This year sets, man, that should not be worth the money that they are. I just, you're not going to convince me that Lugia Alt Art is worth fucking $700. It's just, I'm sorry, man. Not when, like, other cards exist in the set that I feel like have just as good art, if not better. Because people are like, oh, it's playable too. Yeah, yeah, since when in the fuck have people given a shit about playable cards? With the playable cards that are going through, Reggie Alecki should be a fucking $700 card then, right? That's how that shit should work. Reggie Alecki copy should be going for fucking like 120 130 bucks. That's what we're doing because something is playable? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Anyway, people just going back and forth with cards and Japan and sets and prices and all that stuff. These prices will go down for V-Star Universe, by the way. Like, people that are hyping up boxes for 250 on whatnot, that shit ain't gonna stick, man. That shit's gonna look real dumb. If you wanna pay that big, dumb money, you go for it, but you're paying some big, dumb money, and I hope you know you're paying it. As long as you're cool with it, I don't care. I guess my point is, is, like, the interest in Japanese cards, I've definitely watched track on my socials as well. Like, people have definitely messaged me a lot more now asking where I get Japanese product. I've even had some people, like, come onto my shit and ask, like, hey, am I selling stuff? And it's like, no. I'm not selling anything, dog. And they're like, oh, come on, man. Everybody has a price. Everybody has a price. My Rayquaza alt art, I think, is one that really comes up a lot. The one with Zinnia on it from Blue Sky Stream. That one comes up a lot. People really want that fucker. And I'm not really too sure why. Because I have much better cards, in my personal opinion, in my collection. But that's one that always seems to come up. And people are willing to pay fucking premium for it. I'm not too sure why. I'm not getting rid of it. I fucking like that card. But, hey, it's just watched people go through the motions go through it and you know just they come and go they'll come and sell they'll do all this stuff people also have been saying like the japanese market is it's just so weird because i can like talk about all this hype but then i can also talk about people like trying to deconstruct it as well and be like these cards are way too expensive for japan and then what do they do they take their fucking lugia and they sell it for seven hundred dollars five hundred dollars six hundred dollars oh but it's too fucking expensive well but well, not when i have the card but when it, it, it's, it's brought out a lot of things in people. And I mean, it's brought out a lot in me too, especially when people come into the hobby, they pretend they masquerade, they do a bunch of dumb shit. They are just here for money and hype, man. Like, I mean, straight up, like what's this Pokemon right here? Huh? Ask any whatnot seller what this Pokemon is. I bet they can't tell you like have them right there on the fucking spot. What's this Pokemon right here? What is it? You know what it is? Oh, you don't know what it is? Yeah, I mean, for a long time Pokemon fan, though, I've been here the full 22 years, my guy, but I just I just blanked out on fucking names, neuralized my goddamn mind. Once again, some people aren't going to like that, but just fake fans here, fake people coming in, trying to get Japanese cards, just, I've watched it. It's crazy. It's fucking nuts. The whole concept of this shit, I think it's going to drop down a little bit. I think it will. The second the money leaves, though, this place is going to fucking go right back to normal. I swear to God. I just... Did I have a point to this video? I don't know. I'm just kind of talking. <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't think this video had a point. <laughs> I, I had a, like a cohesive topic for a second. And just I, I don't know. What else can I fucking talk about? Uh, it, it's weird. V-Star Universe especially is getting really popular. And like it's just kind of crazy everywhere. Like a bunch of people all of a sudden interested in it. When like other sets like Tag Team All-Stars had nobody interested in it. Not really. Not until the prices went up on certain stuff. Those gold cards for sure. And then some of the full art trainers yet. Yeah, I mean those ones just fucking shot up in value. If you don't have those you're fucked. And then like V-Star Universe is pretty big. V-Max Climax is pretty big. But like no one really cared too much about Shiny Star V at the time. Like it still sold and people were still kind of crazy about it. But it wasn't something that was super unobtainable or anything. Just the, it's been like two years that all this stuff has happened. Like 2021 all the way up to 2022. It's happened. I just it's kind of weird. People are going to try to say a lot of dumb shit regarding Japanese cars just in general. It's a market right now. It's, it's inflated. 
There's a bunch of people that are in it. There's a bunch of people betting on cards and money right now. I don't know. I guess this video really didn't have a point. Just talked about fucking bullshit for 10 minutes. I don't even know how long this fucking video is. I don't know. That's all I got. I'll talk about something cohesive tomorrow. Just so much stuff in my head about Japanese cards. It's crazy. It's nuts. Shit didn't used to be like this. Now it is. Now I got to worry about people, you know, hyping up certain cards to the point where they're unobtainable now. Whoa, fucking crazy for modern cards. That's all I got. See you later, virgins.